Having learned a little bit about what a spreadsheet is and what it can do in the little theory video, let's look at some terms and then we'll do a demo. The worksheet is down here, the worksheets, there are two of them. Just like you can have many pages in a Word document, you can have many worksheets in a workbook, which is the name of the whole file. Think about Battleship. You have columns and you have rows. The intersection of a column and a row is a cell. This is cell A1. This one down here is cell AE6. You can select a set of cells, and that would be called a range. And that is written with, if you look, a colon in between, that's two dots, a colon in between the two ends, so C1 to C8. And this one over here is range D4 to H4. Well, now that we know these terms, we can proceed on to working on a cell. We might format the cell when we get there because there are lots of kinds of data you can enter. You won't learn all of them right away, but we'll do a couple of them just so you can see how they work. Let me enter some text in a cell. I'm going to put my name. Notice that it laps over. It looks like it laps over from A1 to B1, but it doesn't really. And I'll press the Enter key. And I could write today's date. This day I'm making it is 11-28-16. Um, and the c computer automatically chose a format for me. If I don't like that format, I can take my mouse. You see how that mouse is in the middle, in the center? Try to keep it that way because you'll learn in another video that if you go over to the edge, you'll get, this is the move, the four-headed arrow to move, and this is the crosshairs to fill. So go straight for the middle in the center. And if you right-click and go down to Format Cells, you'll get all kinds of choices. But that's not on this video. How about if I put some money? I'm going to put $540.30, and I'm not going to write the dollar sign, and I'm not going to write the comma, well, if I hit a big enough number, and, and I did the zero didn't show up. But if I were to come up here and choose Currency Format, you see where it is? Okay, if I choose currency format, the computer will add that for me. I could even put a hyperlink. And it did it automatically. I just typed it and the computer knows if you said HTTP colon slash slash. That means a hyperlink. Th this column A is too narrow because I can't get all of the information in. Oh, I hit it. In one column. And so I'm going to take my mouse up here between the letters and get that vertical line with the two-headed arrow and click and drag over or double-click. And the computer will make it wider for me. Lots of formatting options are also possible up here on the Home tab. And your next assignment is to sit down and play. Just play around with it and see how it works. If it doesn't come out the way you like, throw it away and make another one. Have fun!